Do you think we could ever top last week's episode? Hey guys, do you know what the bump is for the homecoming bit? Yeah, just say something about homecoming. Okay, thanks. Was she wearing the... Yup. Three, two, one. Here we go! Cambridge, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Cambridge. I'm Marcus Vizi, and here's what's up. Welcome back, Bears. We hope you've had a great week. To start us off, we need all the dog-loving teachers to listen up. Doggy daycare is finally back. If you want to participate, there are a few different services you can choose from. The basic service for just doggy daycare is $10, and if you want to add any other services, such as an ear cleaning or a nail trim, the prices are listed on screen along with any other requirements. If you would like to sign up, scan the QR code or email Ms. Reeves at reevess at fultonschools.org for more information. Do you need to clean your car? The Car Club will be holding a car wash on October 1st from 6 to 8 p.m. before the homecoming football game. It will be held in the bus parking lot behind the courtyard. Get your ride ready to impress your date. All profit proceeds go to the CHS Car Club. Cambridge, it's that time of the year again. Next Saturday is our annual homecoming dance. Attention Cambridge Bears. Our homecoming dance is next week on Saturday, October 2nd from 8 to 10 p.m. in the courtyard. Tickets are $20 and can be ordered online. If you order online, bring an email receipt as your ticket. IDs will be checked. And don't forget, students who aren't attending Cambridge will not be able to attend the dance. For more info and the link to get your ticket, go to the Cambridge headline section and click Homecoming. Then click the link to buy your ticket. I know we all want homecoming this year, so please wear your mask so it doesn't get canceled. And then on top of that, make sure you're wearing your brand new student IDs. You need your ID, Renee. Really? I'm sick of this. What is going on? I see you've come to your senses. Yeah, I'm sorry. Please wear your IDs when in the building. It's for campus safety. Also, don't be throwing your bags around. Knowing who you are is important, and that's why this month we're celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. For more on that, next up is this week's Newswire. Thanks, Marcus. This month we are celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. The celebration runs from September 15th to October 15th. The reason why it starts on September 15th is that it coincides with many Latin American countries' independence from Spain. This month was created to celebrate the impact of Hispanic Americans on the history, culture, and accomplishments of the United States. Some important people that helped create that impact include artist Frida Kahlo, Lin-Manuel Miranda, Gloria Estefan, and Alex Rodriguez. Here at Cambridge, we are celebrating by making crafts in the Media Center every Friday until October 15th. And if you can't make it, make sure to check out the table in the Media Center to catch a glimpse of our school's contribution. And on your way out, don't forget to pick up a book to support Hispanic Heritage Month in your own way. For CBN, I'm Katie Liglands. Thanks, Katie. If you haven't heard, the swim and dive team is looking for new recruits. Registration for the 2021-2022 Varsity Swim and Dive Team is open right now and it closes on September 30th. Scan the QR code on screen to head to their website to watch the recorded meeting, get registration links, and get yourself set up for the season. If you are a new athlete, please email Coach Hall at halllauren at fultonschools.org to get put into the team's group with important information. Tryouts are on October 12th. And maybe swim and dive isn't the sport for you, but if you still want to try to be active, try Ultimate Frisbee Club. Do you like Frisbee? The ultimate version? Well, then Ultimate Frisbee Club is for you. Ultimate Frisbee Club is every Thursday from 3.45 to 4.30 at the practice field. You can see Mr. Davis in room 2621 or join the Remind at Nice Toss.
Now that we're warmed up a little bit with some sports announcements, I think it's time we throw it over to Janie to give us the full details on all things Cambridge sports. Next up is this week's bottom line. What's up Cambridge? I'm Janie Spiller and this is the bottom line. Our Bears had an impressive week of sports. Let's get right into it. Starting us off, our cheerleaders kicked off their season with a successful first competition. Our varsity girls took home second place and JV took home first. These Bears are planning to work hard the next two weeks as they gear up for their next competition at Beaufort High School on October 2nd. Make sure to come and show your support. Up next, football won an incredible game last Friday, finally beating Creekview High School. Our Bears fought hard and took home a well-deserved win last weekend. Shout out to junior Will Taylor, who scored a touchdown leading our boys into a 3-0 season. These boys have a bye week tonight, but will be ready to play Centennial next Friday at home. We hope to see you there. Our softball Bears had an eventful week making the most that they can with the weather. Our girls played some incredible games and celebrated senior night this past week. Quick shout out to our seniors Jenna Marlowe, Livy Payne, Sydney Granby, and Grace Lowell. You'll be greatly missed next season. Our girls play Centennial at 5.30 next Tuesday. Best of luck. Our cross country Bears had a clean sweep last weekend. Both JV boys and girls and varsity boys and girls all finished first in their Warpath meet. Quick shout out to Anna Filipek who got first in her varsity race and Braden Hobbs and Lauren Tyndall who plays first in their JV races. Our Bears are now gearing up for their next race on October 2nd at A6. Don't forget to come and cheer on your Bears. And lastly, our volleyball Bears are nearing the end of their season and they're pushing hard to finish out strong. These girls played two great games this past week and recognized their wonderful seniors. Shout out to Livy Eady, Olivia Schuster, Kenzie Holman, and Afton Ford. We will miss you girls next year. Next week, our Bears play Johns Creek at Riverwood High School. Good luck, girls. That's all for this week, Bears. Now back to you, Marcus. Thanks, Janie. Students, if you're looking for something new to do this school year, check this out. Are you trying to get into a club but don't know where? Then go to the Cambridge Bear website and click on the Activities tab. Then click on the School Clubs and Organization. From there, there are countless clubs to pick from. There are clubs such as Photo Club, Computer Club, a Reading Club, and Graphic Design Club. There is even a Table Tennis Club. So, what are you waiting for? Go pick out a club for your enjoyment. One club you'll definitely want to check out is GSA, or the Gender Sexuality Alliance. Join them every Thursday from 335 to 410 in Mr. Folk's room 2809. GSA is a safe space for LGBTQ plus students at Cambridge to express themselves within a community of their peers. If you would like to know more, email Mr. Folk at folkj at fultonschools.org. Do you think your driving skills could be a little bit better? Listen up. Need to improve your driving skills? A1 Driving School, register now. Cambridge, please pause for a moment of quiet reflection. If you have an announcement you'd like to submit, please head over to cambridgebearsvideo.com, hover over the bridge tab, and click on request a segment. Also, make sure to follow us on social media at cambridge underscore bears underscore network. And before we head to prime time, shout out to our marching band for their great performance during the exhibition this past weekend, and good luck for this weekend's competition. Next up is this week's prime time. Welcome to Primetime Bears. We want to recognize one of the coolest pairs of pants we've ever seen on our next segment, Akil's Pants.
Hey, Akio, nice pants. Thanks, bro. Oh, wow, that was, that was it? Oh, jeez, okay. Well, uh, next up, we all get the joy of seeing Galen's first try at a new career. And then I say, his name's Mr. Fun, but the class is not fun. Wow, that's really funny, Galen. Really? Yeah, you should uh, do stand-up. Okay. Oh my bad, guys. I forgot this was stand-up comedy. Don't worry, guys. Feel free to laugh. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to do my next joke, and my teacher said it was really funny, so I think everyone will enjoy it. So, uh, his name is Mr. Fun. So, maybe you would think his class to be a little fun, but... Rest assured, it can be quite not fun. <coughs> so much booing, uh, you'd think there might be a ghost. Because ghosts are like, boo. Let's get some audience participation. Knock, knock. Who's there, you might ask? Michael. You could say, Michael who? Michael who? Michael phone. Like a, like a microphone. It's getting hot in here. OK, everyone, my last joke for tonight. So how about, <clears throat> what's the deal with airline food? This guy's going places. Three, two, one. Hey, Keo, nice jacket. I don't know, man. I feel like we've already used this joke. Yeah, you're right. <laughs>